guys, welcome back to another episode of Rich Tech. In this episode, I want to explain something that I didn't really understand at first, uh, but now I do understand it. It's actually something called HDMI CEC, and it's a new function, well, new ish function that we see on most of the televisions nowadays. Um, and you might be wondering, sorry, I'm just getting control. You might be wondering what HDMI CEC does. Well, where this thing comes into play is when you have, for example, your Google Chromecast, or if you have like a Blu-ray player that, is, that has the CEC function, um, it works. So what basically it does is whatever is connected to the HDMI port on the back of your TV, uh, for example, let's say it's a Blu-ray, or in the case, I, in, in my case, I have the, the Chromecast, um, I can actually tell the once I switch on the Blu-ray, um, this the Blu-ray player, the TV should automatically come on as well. So the the, the whole point of it is basically that you uh, one um, device kind of controls the other, so that you don't have to have like two remotes and so forth. You understand what I'm saying? That's basically what it is. Uh, but what is interesting is what I learned about the HDMI CEC as in regard to the Google Google Chromecast, which I have a video on how I. Um, set up the Google Chromecast, the new one that I got for Black Friday. So I'm just going to put on the TV and I'm going to show you something on the menu. And um, so most of the TVs now, they come with the CEC function, the HDMI CEC function, but uh, you normally have to enable it. So um, that's Chromecast already running there. You head over to, usually it's in your settings, um, and that you normally press the menu to get to the settings. So mine was in options, I believe. Or function yeah it was in function and when I go down I see link setup configure link C uh, and it says CEC and that's where I had to choose it but if um, so it the, the first option I had was to enable the link on and then I also had oh it went off the screen um, yeah so it had the option you have to obviously enable the link so it has to enable on the on the actual TV to make it make sure the function is working on the TV mm -hmm. and I saw auto power on, which was already on. And so that means any device that that has CEC functions available on it, when you power on that device, it should power on the TV automatically. But the issue I was having was that the Chromecast was not switching off the TV when I switched off, when I tried to switch off the Chromecast. Now, everything is connected on our network here. Um, I use the Google Home a lot of the times to control the Chromecast, which, con which, which does the TV. So what I realized was there was a setting that was missing here, and that setting is... Um, let me get it back. That setting was auto standby, and it, the names are kind of different with different TVs. So what you should probably see, you may not see auto standby on another TV. What you will see is a shutdown function or something like that. So basically, because the auto standby was off, anytime I told the Chromecast to switch off the TV, it wasn't able to switch off the TV. So you might be wondering um, why that's happening on your side. Well, this is how it really works and this is how it's basically set up. So all you have to do to set this thing up is go into your TV, switch on the CEC functions and choose which CEC functions you would like available. If you want um, auto startup and auto uh, switch off and pretty much that's it. So when you enable both, um, something like the Chromecast or even if you have your Blu-ray, something that is compatible, you should be able to switch off your Blu-ray or switch on your Blu-ray and the same thing will happen. When you switch on the Blu-ray, your TV should come on. When you switch off the Blu-ray, it should also switch off the TV as well, which is really nice. Now, what is really cool as well is that the Google um, Chromecast, because it's Wi-Fi, you don't actually need to purchase like a smart switch because the actual Chromecast acts as the smart switch with the CEC function. And um, how do I explain that? So let me show you guys an, a good example right now. So I can actually tell uh, my Google Home, hey Google, Switch off living room TV. And the CEC function activated. So the Chromecast, which is connected by, um, directly to the plugs, um, that is always on in the background. So it's always listening for the command. And so um, I just told it to switch off and it, uses, it sent out the signal to the Chromecast, sent the signal directly to the HDMI port on the TV and switch off the TV. So check it out again. So, hey Google, switch on living room TV. Hopefully something should happen there. Yeah, see, it's just shown for itself. And that is the whole function of the HDMI CEC option. And it works really beautiful with the Chromecast. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video. Wasn't too short, but you know, short enough. 
please consider liking please consider subscribing and i'll see you guys again soon take care bye bye